and welcome to the Terror Zone. Now, I know what I know what you're saying. What do you think you're doing on this show, Red? Well, let me tell you, it's a long story. For you see, Amanda got a new actor to play Burr Fox. So now, I'm back to playing Foxy Loxy! Yay! So I'm really excited to play him again. So, here I am playing as him once again on the show. Now, what's good? Now, I don't know what you guys are all thinking. What happened to Miles and his Foxy friend? Chase! Well, let me tell you what happened to them. They became actors of the next Fox movie called The Descendants of the Fox, which is going to be a sequel to the to the Tale of Three Foxes, where Todd, Foxy Loxy, and Burr Fox all have children. And Burr Bear too. But that won't be coming until later. We still got plans for it, and we still need to do a lot of projects for it. But anyway, today on the Terror Zone, we got a guest star on the show today. Please featuring Dumbo! Ooh. Hello, Dumbo! Great to have you on the show. Really, ha I'm glad to have you on us on the show. A lot of people love you on here as this show. I'm sure glad a lot of people are here to see you because they probably think you're adorable. Great. You know, I was really, I was actually really skeptical to have you on the show since you were, you couldn't speak. But Amanda insisted that you should come on here even though you can't speak. It should be a warning and, well, I think, it, I think you deserve a chance, don't you think? Great. So we'll just say yes or no and you can just do vocal, you, you get the picture. So let's get a move on and talk about the... Talk about the next Terror Zone story. Today on the Terror Zone, we're going to look into the story of Dumbo. That's why Dumbo is here, right, Dumbo? See, he's very excited to get the get the story going, aren't you? Great! Let's get started. So, to brief Fisher up, Dumbo is a story about a ele baby elephant named Dumbo. Who was sent by the stork to his mother? To and he works at a circus. And once he is born, all the elephants laugh at him for his big long ears. Big fat ears or whatever. He is laughed and ridiculed everywhere he went. And he was never brought to eat or anything else. He was separated from the whole thing. Even kids laughed at him and some of the acts in the circus. Up to the point where his mother got very, very protective of Dumbo. And had to protect him from all the other animals. Um, and humans too. The humans were really, were really ridiculing him with lots of stuff. And, and they were not very nice to him at all. So, Dumbo's mother got really mad and started getting really crazy all over the place. But the ringmaster had to get her and put her into a mad elephant type of box or whatever. Capture, which is very sad. Poor Dumbo's mother. Hmm. And poor Dumbo himself. Because he had no other person to play with anymore. His mother was the only one that actually loved him and everything. Until one day he met a best friend named Timothy who was a mouse, who seemed to like his ears very much compared to all the other animals. Timothy happened to be Dumbo's close friend and shared peanuts with him most of the time. Later on the story, Timothy tries to make Dumbo's help life better and make his life a little more meaningful and and try to help his friend out by making him an act in the circus, like in a climax. But didn't work out so well, for when Dumbo tried to do an act, he tripped on his own ears and ruined the whole show. Hmm. Which is a disaster. But Timothy tried to cheer him up with a little bit of 
with a little bit of a song from his own mother to come and visit. So they go over to visit his mother, and he's in, they sing a little baby mind song. Still get the seals of sadness. It's still sad that they had to still leave at some point. Shortly after that, Dumbo got a little bit of a case of the hiccups, and got lit and got and fought Timothy and fought Timothy thought he could use a drink, but then he got well drunk and started seeing pink elephants. Shortly after that, Dumbo got very sleepy and woke up finding himself in a tree with Timothy as well. Timothy and Dumbo were surprised what they were doing inside a tree. And then for, shortly after, a, f- couple, a few crows found them. And then crows suggested that maybe Dumbo flew in the, flew in the tree. And then Timothy's like, you flew! So Dumbo and the crows and Timothy tested out. At first, the crows were laughing at Dumbo. They thought it was ridiculous uh, that a dumb that an elephant could fly. Although they, ins- although Timothy insisted and taught them what happened in Dumbo's life, so they gave him a a black feather to make him have the confidence to fly. So they gave it a try, and Dumbo flew. And shortly, day after the circus had arrived. Dumbo was ready to fly and show everyone what he could do in his act. Because, I forgot to mention in this story, after he messed up the whole thing at the climax, he became a clown, and he was humiliated by all the clowns people. He was, they were making fun of him, putting on acts that he didn't really like to do, and all that kind of stuff. So I just want to let you guys know about that. So anyway, Dumbo... <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, Dumbo was on the big top of the big tower of the fiery building of this act and getting ready for his big plan. And Timothy as well. And so, um, <clears throat> Dumbo starts to fly down the big building. But before he could reach there, he dropped his feather. And he couldn't get it to reach it. Dumbo was so scared and afraid. But Timothy told him to believe in himself. And that he didn't need the feather to fly. So he gave one big try and swoop. And then Dumbo started to fly. Everybody went crazy. Everybody thought he was the most amazing thing in the world. He got famous by the minute. He was a world-renowned star. Dumbo. And that's the story of Dumbo right there for you in a nutshell. So... Before we move on to anything else, here is the story. Now, before we get into the book, the book is actually not like any other book you've ever seen before. The book of Dumbo is actually a roller book. Isn't that right, Dumbo? So, that's really cool. So, um... A ro- you're probably wondering what a roll of book is. A roll of book is a book that, instead of turning the page, you would roll a little um, twisty thing in the middle of the book to get to the next page. And this is what that is. And that's what Dumbo was. Dumbo the Roller Book never got published, really. Only a few were produced. Some were burned. Some dumb the Dumbo Roller Book was rare. So rare t- and so hard to find. So if you want to get one, good luck. In the beginning of the book, it is springtime in the moot. Just like in the movie. We see all the animals, the baby animals being born. There are no storks. Then we see Dumbo, who is the cutest one of all. And Ella, or Mrs. Jumbo. Well, in this book, her, she, her name is Ella. And she is well proud of her son. 
So are the other elephants. No one doesn't seem, unlike the movie, they seem to really like him very much. One elephant says that his ears are so big that he might grow up to be very strong. Like a Jumbo. And that's where he got, that's where Dumbo got his, his first name, Jumbo. He's taking a, taking a tour around the world. And Dumbo, ha and Dumbo, as he was eating, he doesn't seem to be, his body doesn't seem to be growing all that big. He is very tiny compared to what he used to be before. And his ears were the most bigger things than ever before. They're the ones that kept growing while his body stayed smaller. And he often kept tripping on his ears. And the animals would make fun of him and laugh at him. Jumbo and his mom and Ella did not like this at all. Until one day the ringmaster said to them that they'll be in a new act. The new act happened to be a climax like you see in the movie. And Dumbo has to climb up to the biggest stack of the elephants and get to the top and have to wave the flag. Unfortunately, he does the same he does that and he trip and while he climbs up to the big top of the stack, he trips on his ears and chaos ensues. And once the whole circus circus tent collapsed, Dumbo could be seen walking out Waving, still waving his flag. After that, that whole mess, Dumbo was recruited to a different area in a donkey pen, where somebody crossed his name off and crossed his J and put a D instead, saying Jum, saying Dumbo instead. After this, he was named Dumbo for the rest of the time, his life, and he was working with the with the clowns acting like idiots and using an act where they have a burning building like much like the movie where where he's where Dumbo's stuck on top and he has to go jump down and like go in a pool of mud well in the movie it was water but in this one it was just mud and it was just worse hmm i know right how shameful Dumbo was so sad about his new job. He really did not like it at all. He didn't even want to his he didn't even want to to, look, to see his mother or anybody else. He just wanted to be alone until he met a bird named Robin who really liked his ears very much. Much like Timothy, he tries to help out Dumbo and make his life better. Much like Timothy, Dump Robin had a circus uniform. Mm. Yes, it's your best friend, Timothy. And Robin, too. To help Dumbo out, Robin takes him to a friend, to his, to his friend, Professor Owl, who is a psychiatrist. A mistake about this video. Sorry. Robin's name is not Robin. His name is actually Red, like me. So, sorry about that, guys. That was a little mistake. Um, I haven't really, um, figured, I haven't really remembered the story out too much, so a little sorry about that. Yeah, thanks, Dumbo. Well, anyway, Red takes, um, takes Dumbo to Professor Owl, and Dumbo says to Professor Owl that he has dreams of flying. And... Presser Owl responds to that, saying, Well, what's stopping you? Go ahead and fly. Ten dollars, please. So they give him a check of ten dollars, and Dumbo was wondering of when he could start flying. And then Presser, 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 Presser Owl is like, that he got tam You gotta give him ten more dollars. So this guy is pretty much a cheap guy. He wants to get money for a quick buck. But who knows? He, he is a great guy. Who knows? But he likes to make a lot of money out of us. Not even, even though he's an animal. It's kind of weird. Don't you think? A mistake about this video. Sorry. Robin's name is not Robin. His name is actually Red. Like me. So, sorry about that, guys. That was a little mistake. Um, I haven't really um figured... 
I haven't really remembered the story out too much, so a little sorry about that. Yeah, thanks, Dumbo. Well, anyway, Red takes um takes Dumbo to Professor Owl, and Dumbo says to Professor Owl that he has dreams of flying. And Professor Owl responds to that, saying, Well, what's stopping you? Go ahead and fly. Ten dollars, please. So they give him a check of ten dollars, and Dumbo was wondering of when he could start flying. And then Professor Professor, Professor Professor Owl is like that he got tam you gotta give him ten more dollars. So this guy is pretty much a cheap guy. He wants to get money for a quick buck. But who knows? He, he is a great guy, who knows? But he likes to make light money out of us. Not even, even though he's an animal. It's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? But that's okay, because Red has a plan of his own. So he took Dumbo to a high cliff and just pushes him to jump off. Which is a very risky idea. Um, I guess it's sort of like the Disney version, but not really, because it's not really as risky as it was in there. But that's okay, because Red has a plan of his own. So he took Dumbo to a high cliff and just pushes him to jump off. Which is a very risky idea. Um, I guess it's sort of like the Disney version, but not really, because it's not really as risky as it was in there. Got really scared. And flapped his wings like crazy. And sure enough, he flew! Like an airplane. Him and Red kept practicing every day. Soon, Dumbo started to learn to flip. And loop-de-loops, too. Until the big day has arrived for them to do the circus show. And Red told Dumbo to keep his... His flapping, his him flying, a secret. Until the big plan had revealed his big secret. Red had a big plan to, to. Red had a plan to show those people what Dumbo was really made of. Got really scared. And flapped his wings like crazy. And sure enough, he flew. Like an airplane. Him and Red kept practicing every day. Soon, Dumbo started to learn to flip. And loop-de-loops, too. Until the big day has arrived for them to do the circus show. And... Red told Dumbo to keep his his flapping his him flying a secret until the big plan had revealed his big secret. Red had a big plan to to Red had a plan to show those people what Dumbo was really made of. To the next clown show. But Red told Dumbo to keep the flying a secret until the big reveal. Bring on for Dumbo, knowing that they would be famous after this. And shortly enough, it happened. And Madison Square Dumbo. And shortly enough, Dumbo flew. At Madison Square Garden, no less. Really scared at first. He almost forgotten that he could fly. Or anything like that, for that matter. He kept cheering on for him. Until he had tears in his eyes. Cheering for his best friend. Wow, you have a good friend there, don't you, Dumbo? like the movie he showed off everything he flew and he show he took a he took a turn on those bullies and did what they deserved and everybody praised him everybody was surprised to see him fly and he got famous and everything
And that's the end of story of Dumbo of the real book. What'd you guys think? It's actually not as bad as the as the as bad as the as the as I thought it was. I actually thought it was gonna be more dark. But it actually turns out it's a short and sweet little short story book. And I think it really ties in well with the Disney story. Although I think the Disney story might have added a little too much to the movie and the story altogether. But neither way, this was a surprisingly a really good um book to look into, and I really enjoyed it. What did you think, Dumbo? Well, you heard it here, folks. He said it was high flying. Well, we'll see you next time on the next Tower Zone. Well, thanks for joining us, Dumbo. I'm sure you guys, I'm sure you had a lot of fun doing this. Well, I'm sorry Timothy couldn't make it. I mean, Timothy was supposed to come here, but he couldn't make it, right? I'm sure you really miss him. Hmm. Well, don't worry. I'm sure we'll, I'm sure maybe someday if you do, if you look into more Dumbo, we'll get to see him soon. And, you know, I have to say, surprisingly, I got to add a little something to Dumbo here. It turns out he has a lot of comic books where he where he met the seven dwarfs and more Disney characters. So it's very interesting how he met all those characters. How did you meet all those characters? Yeah, I don't know either. Well, I'm glad you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time in the next Terror Zone. Bye! And I'm so glad to be doing this again. It's so nice to have me back as the as the host. I hope you like me too, for me to come back. If you don't, tell me more. And if you want to, guys want to research any more about the Disney movies, leave your comments below. And we'll see you next time.